Take a long time. It, really, in practical terms, though, what would make, lead, lead you to that decision? I just feel like now, now I'm Castleford. I've got to be a little bit controversial now and go against the Rhinos. But I do believe that Salford always rise to the occasion. Oh, it would be damaging your very, very special reputation here at Headingley. Let's get over to our commentary team for this one. Much has been spoken about this game. Enjoy it now with John Wilkin. And we'll say good evening to Mark Wilson. Yeah, good evening, Brian. A potentially record-breaking round one in terms of attendances and after the electric atmosphere in Hull last night, tonight it's the turn of AMT heading lane. Two teams looking to play attacking an expansive rugby league and two teams desperate to bounce back having missed out on the playoffs in 2023. Time for the talking to stop for Leeds and for Salford and the action to begin. We're moments away here. Six debutants for Leeds, including, of course, the former Salford Joe, Brody Croft and Andy Akers. Four newbies for the Red Devils, who've also got four former Rhinos. We're underway. Leeds in the white, blue and amber. And Salford Red Devils in the black kit. And we're underway in the first carry taken forward. And John Wilkin, vital that Salford start well tonight. Yeah, and this is where we'll see whether they really trust the DNA that Paul Rowley puts into his teams. They love to move the ball, bypass their middle players and get the ball to the edges. Sam Tompkins made a great point. They might not have that strike on the edges, but will they stick to that philosophy? Well, they're moving it now on that far side, trying to work their way out. Borough in at dummy half. Big boots to fill, of course, for him. Leeds defending well so far. They're going to go down the short side. Sneed will arrow the kick. That's a pretty good kick as well. Back there to retrieve it is Lockie Miller, and it just one roll too many. It was so close to being perfect. Mark Sneed, so accurate with his kicking game. And in conditions like this, Mark, that accuracy could be crucial for Salford. Yeah, it could be an early penalty here. Lift of the leg. So real discipline. On the opening defensive set for the Red Devils. Where it was, it did lift the leg. Yeah, just went beyond the horizontal. Safely put down, but it's a penalty. A pressure relieving penalty leads through Matt Frawley. He gets to just chew off 35 yards if oh, he does makes he? touch. He hasn't made touch. Wow, that wow. is a big error. Not the start he would have wanted ahead in league. Oh, that's a nervy first touch from Matt Frawley. <laughs> And Salford get a reprieve and they get the ball back. As they carry it forward, the rain coming down, the big Salford contingent on the Western Terrace will be getting wet tonight. They'll be hoping it's in a winning cause. There's a singleton offloads. Ball bounces up kindly. Here is Briley. He's over halfway. We're in at dummy half. We'll come down this near side. Short pass from Watkins. Here's McDonald. Cue the booze. But Q a great run as well. Yeah, what a Q, start. Q the carry. And that's what he brings. Controversial circumstances around his departure, but there's no doubt in when he's got the ball. He carries it hard. Here's Ormanroy. Good carry from him. 200th career appearance for him. Former Rhino. Last one. Oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. And Salford have got themselves into such a good position there. Yeah, it was such a strong carry from Nene McDonald. It put him in a great position. Armourite just fighting to get up and win some rook speed. Get a rook for his boys to play off. He's come up with the error. Just a point on Leeds, Mark. You know, we spoke a lot in the pre-match, and Danny and Sam have referenced, you know, the attacking qualities that Croft and Frawley and Ackers bring to this Leeds team. One of my big issues with Leeds last year was how they defended. Now, they conceded as many points as they scored last year. Now, if they want to be in the top four, for me, defensively is where they've got marked improvement. They'll be delighted to hold Salford out all through, albeit through Salford's errors, but that's where big improvements are there for the Rhinos this year. Yeah, all taken four by Momorowski. An eye-catching signing for the Rhinos. And Croft has quickly closed down. They'll attack the short side and a penalty here. And a chance to kick for touch again. Yeah, the referees have really focused on the markers not being square. That's always been a penalty, but they've just made sure that the players are really on board with getting square at marker. They've had the message in the preseason, failed to do so there. And it's a poor start from Salford Mark. Just errors, a couple of errors, and a penalty there. Yeah. Oh, it was a bit of a juggle there as they came flying out. Oh, and Roy went for the shot, didn't quite get it, but put pressure. Now there was a bit of a lash out there from Aledski. 
given what happened last night, might want to be uh, keeping a close eye on that one. Yeah, Licky Sal will be keeping a close eye on that one too. He will. Here, Yuzakas gets it away. Ball back on the inside. Here is Miller. Drops it back on the angle. Taken forward again. Alexki carries. Here is that lash out. Was more on the arm than anything. That one. There's now a short pass here to Frawley. Takes on the line. Leads. First attacking chance for them. Akers looks. Goes now to Smith. Smith takes it into the line. Here's Croft. Croft gets it away. They raced out on the edge there and put the pressure on. And that was good defence in the end. They gambled Salford on that left-hand side and they forced the error. Yeah, Salford traditionally aggressive on their edges. Brody Croft catches it and he just runs a bit of a soft line for me. And that allows the defence to be aggressive on Harry Newman, put pressure on his catch. It's a wet night, Mark. That's a difficult ball to catch. It's an aggressive read from Dion Cross. Expect to see more of that. He's going to be coming all day if they play out the bat like that. Harry Newman fumbles it. Good defence from Salford. Yeah, Dion Cross, who was ever present last year, most of that in the centres, but given the departures of Purgis and Seo, he now finds himself on the wing. And Salford have the ball back. Smith with a tackle, but it's a good aggressive carry there from Lafay. That's the strength here for Salford, you know, visibly here. Nene McDonald who carries the ball now, Tim Lafay who carries the ball. Big aggressive ball carries, can offload the ball. And if Salford are to cause Leeds problems, those two men will be around all of that. They will indeed. It's a, a nice carry as well. Up the middle. Now the ball, and just working the centre of the field here, Salford, and they're making pretty good ground as well. Straight up the middle of the Leeds defence. But it will get it away. Orman Royd inside the 30, last one. They're going to go to Mark Sneed, who picks his spot, stands up the kick. Pressure on at the back here for Leeds, coming into traffic. That's a great catch. That's a really good catch from Lewis Roberts. Yeah, lovely confident take from the young guy who's been brought in for David Fusatua. Strong, confident first touch. This is where Salford wants to be defending and turning the ball over. Now just applying some pressure. What a take, Lewis Roberts. Fantastic. Yeah, he's going into traffic, wasn't he? And he comes up with the goods. And yeah, now the ball carried forward again. And Shanley, the birthday boy today. There's a ball centre field. Police in for. There we go. They start for St. Helens, they're off and running. Oh, they try against the Broncos. Last one then, leads only up to the 40. We'll need a good kick, Frawley's left boot. Sends it downfield, Briley is well positioned, catches it on the full, turns the ball back inside. Here's Hankinson, brings it forward. You have to say, that's a good defensive set from Salford. Yeah, and, and caught the ball on the full, which is a bonus, and then they get their outside backs on the front foot, and eased the way over the 40-meter line now. This is where you start to win some field position. On that far side goes Sam Stone over the halfway line. Sneed dances across the field. Getting the ball out here to McDonald. He's seen plenty of it early on, and he's causing problems. Momorowski just slipped off the tackle there. 30 away. Cross swings the ball to Sneed. Partington will take it forward. He's wrapped up and pushed back. Good aggression from the Rhinos. This is the last tackle. Salford force an error this time. Again, Sneed will go higher this time. Roberts waits, comes forward. Oh, was he taken out? Ball's on the ground. Who's going to collect it? It's pounced upon by Leeds, but the referee is going to say that that was a knock-on. This time, Roberts can't come up with the goods. Yeah, again, Mark Sneed just applying pressure to the young winger. He came up trumps with the first tee. Well, this kick is deadly accurate. It allows his chasers just to get there. Almost looks as though Harry Newman actually bangs into his own player, knocks Lewis Roberts off balance. But it's the accuracy of that kick that's really important, Mark, because it just allows his chase the perfect amount of time to get underneath it. Well, now we find out what the Red Devils have got. Paul Rowley's side. Always looks calm, doesn't he, Paul, as he looks on. But a big chance here. And let's find out how Leeds' defence holds up on this goal line. Strong centre field, 10 away. They're bringing numbers to this right-hand side. Cuss with a step, but Reese Martin's all over him. And makes the tackle. Well, a good start defensively here. 
Newcastle looks around him, weighing up the options. Sees Singleton, drives it forward. 178 appearances for Leeds. All now works left. Sneed, short pass to Stone. Good shot goes in there on from Croft. What a tackle that was, but the offload is made. Borough collects it. Can he now keep the move going? He skips back in field. Towards the post he goes. They're knocking on the door here, the Red Devils. Big chance early on here. Short pass to Ormond Roy. He's met well. Ball's come out, and this is a penalty. Cam Smith, it was who was penalised, and Mark Sneed quickly says they'll take the two. Yeah, Cam Smith just trying to slow it down. Omeroy fighting like he was earlier when he lost it to play the ball quickly. We all understand how important the rook speed is. Cam Smith with the ball steal. Paul Rowley and Kurt Agassi's assistant now will be delighted with elements of the start of the game. Certainly some good execution with the ball and just a few tidy kicks from this man Mark Sneed makes all the difference and off the back of that they've won some field position and get an easy shot at goal right now it was interesting we're at a great vantage point here in the commentary box and we saw that first sneak kick it was almost like a, a warm-up wasn't it and the second one went a lot higher didn't it put a lot more pressure on allowed the chasers to get involved yeah there's game plan involved look you've got a relatively inexperienced kid on the wing Mark Snead's got an accurate kicking game. He would have spoke about, in these conditions, peppering him early with some high balls. Lewis Roberts dealt with it exceptionally well first time. Second time, came up with the error. But there's a bit of a, a theme there for Salford. If they're accurate with the kicking game, they chase hard and they dominate some field position, they'll get points. It's just how often they can do that, Mark. Well, here's Mark Snead. There were goal-kicking problems for Hulkinson Rovers last night. I don't think this will be a problem for Mark Snead, and it's not. First points of Salford's season, come with the left boot of Sneed. And there's a good travelling contingent over from Salford here tonight. And they lead early on. Yeah, they're a great club of Salford. And, and, and tonight is the tale of resources, isn't it? We've got Salford with limited resources and leads the Silver Tail Club in our competition in it with abundance. And it's the contrast of that. And I think Paul Rowley has done an exceptional job with Salford manages to just squeeze every ounce of performance out of his teams it's just the question is how often can you keep doing that yeah well Leeds had a little bit more possession in the opening stages as Ormond Royd again carries forward he's been busy tonight all now working across to that left hand side quick hands oh the pass was on now did it hit the fingertips of a Leeds player Salford are claiming it did not sure Aaron Moore agrees. Ryan Briley just got it down to a little two on one. He's used to executing this pass. Mark Sneed just digs into the line. Nobody touches it. Ryan Briley's thrown that into touch, but created an opportunity. Now they've got to ice those chances. It's a nice piece of defence from Lewis Roberts, but poor, poor piece of skill left from Ryan Briley. Yeah, we're disappointed with that one. And now a chance for Leeds then. Cameron Smith carries forward. Singleton reacquaints himself. His former colleague. Now Akers has it, gets it away to Frawley, turns it back to Oledski. Oledski hit hard there. Good shot from Callum Watkins. Can Leeds make of this opportunity? Frawley comes back behind the rook area, 10 metres away. Leeds with a big chance here to open up their account. Akers out of dummy half, gets it to Croft. Croft takes on the line, that was a high shot. And there could be a problem here for Salford, because Croft has taken one on the chin and the players come rushing in. They didn't like that. This is the challenge when somebody as agile as Brodie Croft carries the ball at that speed, off a quick rook and Andy Akers is running. The change of direction as a defender, you've got fractions of seconds to get that right. It's a beautiful step. He's got dynamite in his right foot as Brody Croft, and it's a high tackle from Ryan Briley. The pre-season we talked about several things. Was the force, was the reckless, and is there any mitigation for hitting him high? Well, the mitigation would be he's falling into contact, but there is force, and it is high. It is, but that mitigation somewhat limited by the fact that he was the second player in. Absolutely. It could be in a spot of bother here, Ryan Briley.
elsewhere. For me. Yeah, don't worry, mate. Time's off, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me explain it to you, mate. Mate, you make contact with the head, it's forceful and dangerous, but in our opinion, it's low level, and that puts it into a sim bin. It's 10 minutes, mate. And so Ryan Bradley goes into the bin. The new laws are clear. If there's contact with the head, if it's high force or low force, that's the difference between red and yellow, and that deemed low force. Yeah, and credit Ryan Bradley with his reaction to the card as well. Very respectful, straight off the field. It is high. As I said, Brody Croft, he's electric, right foot step. Ryan Briley joining the line from fullback. He's got his warm jacket on and he's got 10 minutes to reflect. Rhys Martin, prolific with a boot for Leeds. For New Guinea International. And he'll fancy this to open up his account for the season. Leeds looking to level up here, but they'll have the man advantage for the next 10. There goes the kick, there goes the Reese chant around NT heading late. Ross Smith looks on, his side back on level terms. It's the first real injection of pace from Leeds into the game. It was a quick rock, Andy Ackers jumped, Brody Croft and that man there, Ryan Briley, caught Brody Croft high, ten minutes in the bin for him. But that's the first time Leeds have really upped the tempo of the game and it looked dangerous. Yeah, it's all level here. Some action coming up on Sky Sports. Including Castleford against Wigan. Tomorrow night on Sky Sports action. And Catalans against Warrington. Remember, every game live only here on Sky Sports. Miller catches the ball. And here come Leeds. Well, that certainly amped up the crowd. And Leeds are looking to play quick here. And Hanley already scoops over the 30. Brooks, they're exactly what Andy Ackers, Brody Croft, Harry Newman, everybody enjoys. Certainly it's easier to play when you're on that front foot, when you've got people like Harry Newman carrying it. It's Leeds will be happy with this set. Yeah, they're up to the halfway line. Smith will settle down, but gets his head through the tackle. Salford have just got to hang on here. Ackers is looking. Any gaps there? Frawley, ball out the back, lovely pass. Here's Miller into the line. He sidesteps his way through, he's still going, Miller. Can't get the ball away, he's knocked out of his grasp. And it went forward in the end, Momorowski collected. Well, Miller, potential X-factor, and he showed there, he's going to be tough to catch. Yeah, it's a combination, it was a lovely piece of vision from Matt Frawley. He knew that Salford were going to be aggressive on the edge. They jammed everybody, Miller ends up with the ball. I'll say one thing about Lucky Miller, I watched him in the pre-season games. A little bit green and a little bit jumpy, a few errors in him. Wow, he's fast though, and we've seen him in open space. It's a great tackle from Hankinson, covering the backs of his teammates who've been aggressive initially. But that is the blueprint for Leeds. We've just seen how, if Leeds are going to play well this year with the ball, we've just seen the blueprint. Everything quick, everything over the advantage line, and then just bringing your ball players into the game. Yeah. 29 years old, Miller. He has only played 20 NRL games, but a career, vast wealth of talent playing sevens. And let's be fair, John, you can't play that level of the game no. if you're not quick and skillful. Yeah, he's quick. I just think when you come into a team at fullback, you have to make a lot of big decisions under pressurized situations. In this weather, I just may be urging to just be <laughs> patient. It'll come. Here comes Salford then. Here's Singleton cutting back across the field. Tackle made. Burrow in at dummy half. Here now is McDonald. Well, one thing to be fair to Nene McDonald, he's not hiding tonight. He's gone looking for the ball. And he's tackled just outside the 40. Sneed sets himself. A high kick. And a tester at the back for Hanley. Oh, he's dropped it. Big chance here for Salford. Ball out to Watkins. Watkins going for the line. Well, I think Hanley there used his experience to call for the ball, but he didn't collect it. And Salford with a great opportunity here. Borough gets it away. Stone just straightens things up. They are a player down, of course, the Red Devils here. 
This is a great opportunity, 10 away. Partington will drive it in towards the post. He was looking to offload. Three white shirts around him. For a looking, will go left. Fires it to Sneed. Sneed just drops the ball back off and they'll edge their way inside the 10. Leads at the moment, comfortably dealing with what's in front of them, but three more left here. Ball will swing across to Sneed. Is he going to opt for the kick? He does. Can they ground it? Did they get this down? Well, it's Kane Cost on his Salford debut. He's celebrating. But what does the referee think? Is this the first try of the night? We have a try. He thinks it is. Let's find out. And then front to ground him, please, mate. We have a live call of try on the field. We're just going to go back to the grounding uh, and the kick to start with. So if we pause it on the kick, just going to go through on the kick to make sure that everyone is on the side. And at the point, every the ball is on the foot. We can play on from there. So now we're going on into the grounding. The ball is picked up cleanly. So I'm just going to go back on that angle to behind the sticks, camera eight. This will give me the angle. I'm going to get it down here. So nice and slow on this, it's picked up, it's cleanly in his hands, and the ball is grounded. Thank you, I've now made my decision. So, Kate Cust marks his Salford Red Devils debut with a try. Under the post, Mark Sneed's kick was on point, and Kate Cust was on hand, and it means Salford, despite being down to 12, are back in front. Yes, all about Mark Sneed's kicking game. It's a try from Cade Cust under the sticks, but it came from fantastic. Few kicks from Mark Sneed. This was the short one. It obviously manipulated an error from Ash Hanley that led them to this position, but he's got such a soft touch. He draws the defence up with his eyes as though he's going to play short with the pass. Drops it onto his toe. Great chase from Cust. And in some ways, Sam Tompkins might be able to shed some more light on this. It's very difficult to defend that play, especially with the posts in the way. Lucky Miller really can't do much more. He needs anticipation from somebody on the other side of the line to deal with that great finish from Cust. Does indeed. Kate Cust, former Wigan man, of course. Missed out on the majority of the running last season. And that is his first try for a year. These fans are not happy with how long this conversion is taking. Just while we're waiting for Mark Sneed to line up the kick. Interesting there on the video replay there from Ben Blair. There we go. A little insight to all the angles that he's yeah. now got at his fingertips. So it's a really new system. Yeah. And we're all learning. So, yeah, we're, we're all behind it. It's great to have the video refs at every game. Yes. Exceptional for the sport. Every game live on TV. Video refs at every game. What a year 2024. Fantastic. It is. Mark Sneed is... Taking his time here, now he will slot the kick through. Look, every second's vital for Salford. They've got a man in the bin, but despite that, they've opened up a six-point lead. Yeah, and they'll be delighted. We've watched Mark Sneed do this over the course of his career. The variety of kicks he can produce, the quality of the kicks he can produce, it's quite often breathtaking. That was a stunning example of soft touch. And a great finish from Cade Cust, but as you said, to score with a man down here. Oh, wow. Well, they'll like that, the Headingley crowd, because it's Mr. McDonald who's come up with the error. Oh, he's and been so just good. got in front, look at the reaction. They're going to let him know all right tonight. Oh, and then McDonald's had an exceptional first 20 minutes as well. Tricky to come back here and be jeered by 20,000 people, but he's come up with an error there. Crucially, just after his side had scored. Paul Rowley looks on. It boiling inside. And open the door for the Rhinos. Poor of the game gone already here. And it's Salford who are in front. Can Leeds take advantage of the 
man advantage that they have for the next few minutes. Here's Akers now. Ball driven in by Donaldson. Enjoying a testimonial this season. Akers waits 11 away. Slow play of the ball. Akers to Frawley. Frawley short pass taken in by Martin. He's well met. Because we'll swing it back to Frawley. Frawley will find Smith. Smith takes it to the line, slips through one tackle. Borough gets there. Can't quite drag him to the ground at the first attempt, but they get him down eventually. But numbers either side of the rook area. They're coming. Oh, they go down the right hand side to Croft. Tries to stab the kick through. It's dropped by Leeds. And Salford, credit to them, have defended that really well. Yeah, again, aggressive defence from Salford. And Brody Cross had a bit of a scratchy start to the game here. But the great defence from Salford, they're anticipating the kick. It's Stone who gets up aggressively. When somebody's threatening to kick, what they're trying to do is just put you on your heels as a defender and slow you down, make you stop. Well, Stone didn't, he accelerated, kept going and placed Croft under that much pressure that he came up with the error. And then McDonald will breathe a huge, a huge sigh of relief after the error off the kickoff. Certainly will. Uh, he's not hidden tonight, left the club in acrimonious circumstances last season. He's back tonight as a visitor. Very not drop on the kickoff, he's done pretty well. All here with Hankinson. Leeds line speed is good here, they're trying to put pressure on as Lafayette gets an offload away. Borough will offload it. Watkins takes it forward. Not long to go now for Ryan Briley in the sim bin. Salford have done really well in his absence. It's been a fruitful ten minutes for them, hasn't it? Nine minutes even. He's got a minute till he's back on the field as Ryan and his team have come to life and look great. Offloads again. It's cussed this time with the offload. We've seen one from Lafayette, another from McDonald. This is how Paul Rowley likes to play. It is. 30 out, last one. More pressure coming for the Leeds back three. Sneed goes high. Roberts isolated far side. Great catch. He's taken two brilliant catches. I think the one that he dropped wasn't really his fault. He got impeded by his own player. But here, look at this. Leeds are going to try and counter. And Leeds are countering. And here they're racing away. swarm of Salford defenders that were going to trap him down that had the opportunity to chop him down well as soon as he got in that space we saw the quality of Ash Hanley Salford are desperately short and tight on that right hand side and it's here you think there's too many Salford defenders around there's too many people with good legs around what speed from Ash Hanley what a finish and that's how to play recognize the space Give it to a player like Ash Handley. Sit back, get the popcorn out and enjoy. Magic, magic from Leeds. And what a finish from this guy who's developed into such a strong leader in the Leeds Rhinos team. What a great finish. Look at that. Ten years Ash Handley's been involved here at Leeds. Well, we were... Waxing lyrical about how well Salford had done, down to 12, and in the final seconds, they are undone. And that was brilliant, breathtaking stuff. And now Reese Martin has got a chance to level this game up at eight points apiece. We're expecting it to be fast and furious. But that was a beautiful try. And Reese Martin now for parity. Simple when you've got a guy who can kick them from all over the field. Eight 
points each. It's a beauty from Reese Martin, but let's not forget the catch from Lewis Roberts. That's why Leeds end up getting the ball over to this left hand side. It's an exceptional catch from a young man who's been put under pressure. And once Ash Handler gets it, I just love watching people like this with the confidence to change his tempo, to draw an in McDonald in, and then put the afterburners down. A stunning finish. He lulled him into a false he sense did. of security then, didn't he? And he put the foot down. And here now come the Rhinos. Move! Leeds coming Move. forward. Good game. Yeah, great game. Again, the atmosphere as it was last night, electric. You can feel it. Around us here at AMT Headingly tonight. Now there's going to be a penalty. And I think if Paul Rowley's got a complaint in the opening 26 minutes, John, it is they've given away too many penalties. Yeah, a few errors and a few too many penalties, and it's just made it a little bit easy for Leeds to maybe get out their end every now and again. It's Sam Stone. Well, he was hands in the rook and then also probably wasn't going to get back square. But it just gives Leeds opportunities to get into the game. And now these are the shapes that you practice, especially when you've got a new spine. You just work on these shapes all the time in training. Here is Olenski, picked off his feet. And carefully placed down on the ground. Two former Leeds players with a tackle. Here's Frawley. Steps out of one. Leeds looking to go back to back here. Going from for the first time tonight. Miller finds Smith, who finds Lissoni. Lissoni on the rampage. Well, they're expecting to see him after a thumb injury in pre season. But he's out there making an impact off the bench. And he's going down the short side now here. Ball back. That was touched by a Salford hand. That's going to be another set of six. They'll settle it down. Salford have been asked some big questions here. Have they got the answers? Akers is looking. Options either side. Frawley gets it away. Lissoni, if they can get the pass away, they had the man over, but he couldn't get it away. Good tackle, wasn't it, from Tim Lafay? Needed to make it and did. Ball now works its way back in field. Smith will straighten things up. Never frightened of drawing in defenders. He's so hard to put to the ground, the new league's captain. Five out, they've got numbers, Croft is clapping, he wants it now, Croft will get what he wishes for, a little short pass to Miller, bumps off one, couldn't get the pass away, Martin would have strolled in, Leeds right there, oh did he run behind his own man there, Akers? I think he did, he's going to have to submit and take the tackle, and now it's a penalty for a hit off the ball, says uh, Aaron Moore. Andy Akers looked like he gave the game away, it was an obstruction, he then conceded, but it's a shot, isn't it, from Partington? A big shot off the ball on Lissoni from Partington. Almost unnecessary, the players finished, one. not Andy Akers had to concede, he had to cut back. This is a test now. This is a big test of Salford's resolve. Frawley. Croft. Aletsky driving forward. Leads again. Can reach out and touch it. A couple of metres away, they're coming down this side to Frawley. Great rig there, they raced off the line. McDonald took matters into his own hands and comes up with a good shot. But now they're trying up the middle again. Aletsky's turned away. Briley claps the ball. They're determined not to let the England international offload from there. Leeds are lining up. Well, that's the ball come out here. What's happened here? The player could be injured. It's Aletsky. Mate, he's injured. Tackle three. Well, it's an Just apologise for some choice language if you pick that up at home. Apologies for that. Tackle three, that boy, isn't yeah, it? got put into an awkward position yeah. as he got put down to the ground. It's a strong carry. You know, Leeds love those little players around the rook near to the line, Rowan Smith. Be desperate that Aletsky's okay here. Strong carries from Aletsky and Smith around the post. They're a feature of Leeds. Trick players near the post. Latest at the Lee Sports Village, Huddersfield looking to get off to a winning start. Lead six he's points injured, to four. Just three. There is Paul Rowley, Kurt Haggerty looking on. Their team have just faced a real period of testing defence, but they've come through it. They have so far. 
for Rowan Smith. He'll be looking to just make the most of this little period of ascendancy that Leeds have got. It was built off the Lewis Roberts catch and then the beautiful finish from Ash Hanley. And as he said, I think patience and time, the connections in the Leeds team. I think Brody Croft, Crofts look a little bit clunky, you know, a few errors. Letsky's going to leave the field here. Well, there's blood pouring from his right eye and he's going off for a head injury assessment. There it is. And Oh, you can see he's, he's gone over. That's really awkward. But the good thing is he's up on his feet and he's able to walk off unaided. So we'll let you know what happens with that one. But Leeds will continue with the ball here. And the referee deeming that was just a, a natural occurrence. Yeah. There was nothing foul play in Absolutely that. Absolutely accidental. Awkward position. Get him off the field, get him checked. Mm -hmm. Get a good ovation, he's done really well, Oletsky. Looking for a big season, he was disappointed, yes. I think, with himself last year. Had an injury hit start to his campaign. But he's back fit and firing now, as the ball now works its way to Croft. Drops the ball back on the angle. Here's Bentley off the bench. He's dragged back. Great defence from Salford. The changes for Paul Rowley, Chris Atkin and Ben Helliwell into the action as Lissoni tries to get rid of Stone, who's all over him. This is a really good, there's a boot gone flying there. This is the last tackle. And Leeds so far have been turned away. Frawley's going high. They're going to attract Dion Cross on that far side. He gets off the ground. I think Paul Rowley and Salford will be delighted with that defensive effort. Yeah, we questioned whether Salford had the resolve and they've just held Leeds out with so many potent attacking weapons, some of which were theirs last year. And they've held strong. You take so much confidence from that, Mark. Ten minutes to half time. They've come through some adversity in this half. A yellow card. They've had to defend the line two or three times. Fantastic from Salford. Chris Atkin into the action. In at dummy half, will play the ball. And here's Hankinson. Oh, okay. And Salford do with ball in hand. And take it up the middle. Hartington was looking to offload, but he's wrapped up. This is the last tackle, so only 24 metres gain here. They'll need a good kick from Sneed. Just advances forward and then thumps it downfield, and he's looking to try and bend it in behind Roberts, who made a bit of a meal of that. He went backwards, so... Oh, did it? No, it didn't go backwards. Wow! That's a big call from the touch judge and the referee. Yeah, it's a big call. Look, Lewis Roberts was just too high. He was For people who don't understand the te technical side of that, he's a winger. He was up in the defensive line. He needed to be deeper as a result. It was an accurate kick from Mark Sneed, but it made his way into an awkward spot, almost behind him. He must almost be coming forward onto that or catch it on the full. He got himself in a poor position, he's come up with the error, he's had a strong start. Look, the harsh Handley try came off the back of a glorious take from him. No dramas with making mistakes, that's how you learn. It's a little one from Lewis Roberts, but much like Salford have had to defend Nene McDonald's mistake and mistakes they've made, this is where Leeds have got to do the same. Need to go to the break. Salford looking to nudge back in front. Mark Sneed is about to feed the scrum. They're going to hold it in the back of the scrum. Now they'll find Cuss who drops it off. Here's McDonald. McDonald tries to go past Frawley who just got enough of the boot laces. And then the oh great offload from McDonald. Somehow got it out. And now there's a penalty here. He's so strong, Nene McDonald. He's got the bit between his teeth. Whatever's happened, he's come here to play. He's come here to play tonight. Because he's just been constantly more competitive, stronger and more dominant when he's had the ball than any Leeds defenders. Three, four Leeds defenders, five Leeds defenders, offload, pushing through contact. Some exceptional contributions from him. 74 metres in the first half so far. We go back to the scrum here, Salford. And they're going to come again this way. Atkin drops it back to Cuss. I'm not sure wanted it in that position. Frawley's all over him. So Salford with Atkin are in great position here. Sneed pops up the pass. Leeds going to be tested. Salford might have numbers momentarily if they go left here. Leeds are a little bit short of numbers, but they've kept it close to the post. That maybe needed to go left. Pointing, organizing. Dummies goes it alone, but he can't quite get his body over the line. Great defense, Lissoni. I think it was underneath it. Big gap appears. Can they get over this time? They will get over this time. 
The referee wants to check it, but Salford think they have snatched back the lead. And Aaron Moore agrees. Okay, we have a live call on the field of the try. Just going into the grounding of the ball. So he got it in his hands. You can clearly see there. This is the best angle. The live call try. Just going to jog that back nice and slow and pause it there. Thank you. I've now made my decision. So, Salford are back in front. And that, Oli Partington's first try for the Salford Red Devils. We saw it. Leeds raced out. They left again. And Partington wasn't going to turn that one down. Paul Rowley looks businesslike. But inside, he'll be delighted with the opening 34 minutes or so here. Wow, some half from Salford. Oliver Partington with a try. And it came from nothing. James Bentley just gets disconnected from Andy Ackers. James Bentley in the head tape there. Gets what we call upstream of Andy Ackers. Maybe too aggressive, and it just leaves a little pocket in the line for Oliver Partington to go. Look, that wasn't a pretty set from Salford. It didn't have the slickness and the sleekness of a Brodie Croft, Andy Ackers and Mark Sneed set of six, but it's equally as effective. They've scored points. Oliver Partington falls over the line. It's been some half this from Salford. Excellent stuff. So it might not look pretty, John, but they've been down this end a couple of times and they've come away with a couple of tries. It's a soft one, that, for Leeds. It's just a little bit too easy. They didn't require any ball movement or to be challenged defensively. Here's Sneed. That's the extras. Well, look, whether it's a 90 meter special from Ash Handley or a barge over from Oli Partington, they're all worth four points. Yeah. It's absolutely irrelevant sometimes how they scored. As we see there, Bentley just upstream, a disconnect between him and Andy Ackers. And it's good strength from Partington. Partington just sees Bentley go. You see his eyes glint to ben Bentley's hips. He sees him go. And he knows that means space and he knows that means points. This time. The Red Devils do collect the restart. And the ball driven forward. Sony makes the tackle. Danny Maguire's just smirked at us. He's happy with his prediction so far. Now a penalty. Leeds coming up with a couple of errors as the half comes to a conclusion. just offside but really yes I think it, more than often Salford have given the penalties away in this half but I just like the resilience that they've showed and we question the quality of the team in terms of execution and skill but the attitude to defend and the willingness to work has very little to do with skill or quality it's an attitude thing and they've shown excellent application of that attitude here so far this evening and they get a great chance here about four minutes what damage would another score do here to Leeds Rhinos confidence? Yeah, exactly right. Oh, it's pretty quiet in the oh, south stand underneath us here. Is there a little bit more to come from the Red Devils as Shane Wright carries forward? What a horrendous injury last season. It's good to see him fit again as the ball carried forward by Helliwell. Going down the short side. No, Sneed will swing it back to Cust. Briley was on the run there. He wanted to kick through Ryan Briley. It didn't come. We've seen that little manoeuvre before. Plenty of times for Salford, but not on this occasion. As Bentley's all over Cust. Who's allowed to play it now? Here on the... Well, they're not on the power because that was a forward pass. And Salford will be disappointed they couldn't end their set. They were making plenty of metres, but they couldn't end the set on their terms. Yeah, we just see maybe the impact of of James Bentley and, and what he can do to disrupt teams. Exactly, you know, a forward pass, but James Bentley's involvement there, he's a disruptor, he's awkward, he's aggressive, and, and he hustled and hurried Salford into playing maybe too flat and too fast trying to get past him, but disappointing end maybe to this half for Salford with the ball. They may well get another opportunity, but Leeds will breathe a sigh of relief. 
They will. And Leeds have already shown us tonight. They can score from anywhere. And they level up before half time here. Frawley will move it across. Smith. Flick pass, but he's passed it to Hankinson. Wow, that was a gamble that has gone spectacularly wrong. Here come Salford. What a gift opportunity. It's just poor, isn't it? Two minutes before half time. You're, you're in a nail biting tight game. High risk. It is. Here's Snead. Short pass on the angle. They're 10 away here, the Red Devils. Little centre field. Partington slips the ball away. Leeds having to hang on. We were questioning their goal line defence earlier, John. They need to stand up here. High pass for Snead. He's going to put the kick in behind. They've got it behind, but they couldn't take it in. Dion Cross, if he catches it, that's a try. It was a great kick from Snead. He's got but Cross couldn't get it down. I think he's got to catch it. I think he's got to catch it. It's such a good kick from Mark Snead. So close from Dion Cross. Unreal accuracy from Mark Snead. And I just feel like Dion Cross is there. Oh. Lead survive. Move, wow. The fingertips of Dion Cross. Couldn't quite take it in. Here is Miller sidestepping, dancing around. But wrapped up. Frawley skips across, drops it back for Smith. Takes it forward. Good post contact leaders there. One observation I've seen is it, what Leeds have got now is Andy Akazu wants the ball, Cam Smith wants the ball, Brodie Croft quite likes the ball in his hands, Matt Frawley, and it's just going to take time to work that out. That will be six weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks of just fluency to work out when each other want it. Well, they're swinging it wide now. Here's Reese Martin. Martin challenging the inside. Watkins makes the tackle. Last one. This is Leeds' last chance in this half. High kick, Hankinson on his lines under pressure. Comes up with a great catch there. Brilliant from Chris Hankinson. Yeah, we've seen Lewis Roberts at the other end come up with two crackers. Well, a great take there from Hankinson. Maybe under the pressure of the final 15, 20 seconds of this half. Such a good half from Salford. That will do it. The half time, Hooter goes. Paul Rawley makes his way into the dressing rooms. There are the Salford faithful. They are happy. Mark Snee just calling his players in. He's kicked three out of three tonight. He's converted the tries of Custom Partington. And at half time, it's the Red Devils who lead. Leads with work to do at the break. Leads eight. Salford 14. Well, they came into this game under pressure to perform. One of the smallest squads in the Bedford Super League. Paul Rowley's Red Devils have delivered in the first 40 minutes. It's just day two of the opening round of the 2024 Bedford Super League season. And we have a sensational storyline developing here at Headingley. Ash Hanley lit up the stage with his 90 meter effort, but it's all belonged to Salford in the first 40. Thoughts of Danny Maguire and Sam Tompkins after this. Well, they are 40 minutes away from what would be a sensational start to their new campaign. What have Leeds got in response? You'll find out with now as we go back to John Wilkin and Mark Wilson. Cheers, Brian. Two teams out for the second half here. And in round one, already feels a big second half for the Leeds Rhinos, trailing at home to a Salford side who have never won in their history back-to-back -back games. At Headingley, are we about to see a little bit of history for the Red Devils or will Leeds turn it around? What say you, John Wilkin? Yeah, I think Leeds need to just keep the tempo of the game high. I think carry hard and then once they get into good field position, just that spy and get on the same page and they'll score points. I agree with Sam Tompkins. Defending will take some of it. This will take some heat out of Salford, some juice out of Salford. I was just going to say the yellow card would have really impacted their energy levels. Well, certainly being three yards offside, two metres to the right of the referees, a good way to impact your energy levels too. It's well, just what they don't need, isn't it, at the yeah. start of the second half? Well, they started off the first half. I think first two sets they gave away penalties. Well, they've done that again in the first set of the second half. So Leeds over halfway. Ron Smith seemed quite relaxed when he spoke to Jenna then. 
Is he right to be so relaxed? Are his team and Sam Lissoni going to get back on level terms? That's a good carry from him. Certainly a boost to have him available tonight after that hand injury. Ball forward with Akers. He's wrapped up. We'll play it centre field. Oh, popped up to a lead skew. Thankfully passed that head injury assessment. So he's back into the action for Leeds. And he's tackled just in front of the post. Ackers goes now to Smith. Smith taking on the line. He's tackled a couple away. Last one. Big chance for Leeds. They've got numbers to this side. That's where they're going now with Croft. Now he turns it back inside to Miller. Kick was that played at. He's caught by Leeds. And the referee says it's another set of six. Back to one. It was a trick play, wasn't it? He was just trying to catch Salford over reading the play to the right hand side. He switched back to Lucky Miller, but. A great opportunity at the start of the second half for Leeds. We're going to move back to the 10 metre line here. There is a Salford player down. It's Chris Atkin who's injured. The referee's going to stop play here. Not sure what the problem is there for Atkin. Physio's on. It was interesting, John, in the first half, when Leeds scored that 90-metre try, they had a couple of sets at the line after that, and they didn't really create an awful lot, did they? They've got the same chance here. Yeah. For me, Leeds have just looked a little bit flat, and, and Salford have caught them out by being aggressive defensively. Early in the season, you're adjusting your depth all the time, and you're never quite right. You're either too deep, too flat. I think Leeds have just been too flat when they've been attacking Salford's line. Just a little bit more depth, a little bit more time, yeah. and decisions become easier. Rowan Smith will be patient. He sounds patient about his team. But it's Leeds, you know, he knows they need to be better than eighth. They finished eighth last year and they need to be in the playoffs, well into the playoffs this year. And the pressure of that recruitment, Chris Atkins just got his, his foot stuck, stuck under Cameron Smith. He seems to be fine to carry on. Cameron Smith got sent back after that to play the ball further back. And this is big, these are big moments. Well, this is even bigger now because Chris Atkin has got a green card. So he will have to leave the field now. This is a big couple of minutes because Salford a player down. And defending your own line, this could be costly. Here's Frawley now. Angled run from Martin, bumps off one. Right up against the post, they're coming to the right, here's Croft, drops it back to Bentley, Bentley angled run, bumps off one, trying to go for the line, Bentley dragged down, Partington it was with a try saver, they'll move the ball away, great goal, line defence speed, but they don't make the tackle, here goes Lassoni now, Lassoni rumbling across the field, there's a player, there's a Salford player, I think it's Kate Cust, he's in a world of pain over on the far side here, Kate Cuss looks like he's got a, maybe a dislocated finger or something. I think it's a shoulder. It's a shoulder. shoulder. He's, he's come out of the line and give Sam Lassoni everything out to him with that left shoulder. Sam Lassoni, he's carried like a cannonball since he's been on the field. He's a huge man. Kate Cuss put everything into this. And that's a shoulder. Hopefully it's a stinger. Yeah. You know what those feel like. Yeah, you just chuck it back in. Even if it's out, you chuck it back in and crack on for a bit. Here come Leeds. Back-to-back -back sets. Atkin off the field. Big pressure on Salford. Leeds looking to strike. They're keeping it close to the ruck. Here's Oledski. Plenty of Salford defenders around him. Surely Leeds, John, have got to get it out wide. Yeah, and I just think there's too much clutter around the ruck. So Andy Akers is looking up, he's got Cam Smith, he's got Lasoni, he's got Oledski, he's got Frawley, he's got, I think a simplification of what's happening around the ruck will really help Leeds. Here's Frawley now, turns it back to Lasoni again, and he's wrapped up again. Salford are quite happy with it up the middle at the moment. Akers now will get it away to Frawley, he's wrapped up again. Too flat, Matt, too flat. They need a little bit more here, the Rhinos. Again, they're going to keep it close. A kick against the post. It's collected by Salford, and they will survive. Well, Willie Peters used the word clunky last night about Hulk Hayar's <laughs> attack. I'm not even sure that Leeds is up to clunky yet. Yeah. He's, like I said, it, they're just struggling to understand how aggressive Salford are being defensively. 
and just how to adjust the depth. Matt Frawley and Brodie Croft maybe just a little bit too flat. There's no dramas, they're well and truly in this game, aren't they? But for Salford, just the character they're showing has just got Paul Rowley's fingerprints all over it. Well, Chris Atkin is back on the field now. Okay, Cust is continuing as well. There is Atkin. And now the kick from inside the 40, but well positioned at the back is Miller. And Miller sets off, looking to find a gap. And he's pushed back, good defence again. Helliwell leading the charge for the Red Devils. Dave Custer showing us that shoulder's absolutely fine. He's just drilled that through Lockie Miller's guts. No stress. He's got a big smile on his face. Kate Cust probably relieved that he isn't injured as Roberts gets clattered for his troubles. Sangare is on into the action as well. Here's Hanley. No room for him this time. So Salford survive a big test early on in the second half. It's Cust again. He's certainly working out whether that shoulder's right. Akers had a dummy half, busy, but wrapped up, just the Salford no. side of halfway. Fifth tackle. Frawley will go high, Briley comes forward, chases are coming, Miller's all over him, good collect, and a good tackle as well. Yeah, nice chase from Harry Newman. Yeah. Sankara makes the tackle. Salford wrapped up. As I said at the start of the game, I genuinely believe where Leeds will get confidence and intensity from is with how they defend. And defending with some intensity energises the crowd. Flip to that is you get more energy back when you've got the ball. Defensive effort, big defensive efforts from Leeds are huge. Well, here now, Salford are trying to spin it. They wanted another set of six. Watkins is still going, and that is the last one they didn't get. A set restart, there was no touch from Leeds, Atkin goes high, Miller sprints across. Oh, he's done really well there, the cat's out on the full, showed his pace there, but show his pace here as well, up and over the 40. It's the first time Salford have manufactured the last play, Chris Atkin ends up with the ball, this is six again off the back of it, look at the result of that. Miller gets the ball in space, half break, Brooks Messi, can see the six again, all from just not getting the ball to Mark Sneed on that last play. Yeah. Ball driven forward by the Rhinos, 40 away. They want to get back level as soon as they can. Akers goes in alone. He's 30 away now. Salford defending. As Croft now takes it, drops it back for Newman. Newman bumps off one. Little sidestep, another one. Wants Sangari to go through the gap, but he can't get through. The French international is wrapped up. But Leeds have loaded numbers on that short side, and that's where they're going. Martin with a kick through the line. Try Leeds. It's another one for Ash Hadley. It might be checked this, but Hadley celebrates. He thinks he's got it down. He thinks he's got his seconds. And the referee agrees. Well, what does a video referee think? It's from the kick as well. Okay, so we have live call of a try, and we have it from a kick. So first of all, we're going to go in and look in on the kick and pause it on the foot. So we're pausing it on the foot to ensure everybody's on side. Pause it there. Everybody's on side. So now we're going through to the grounding. And we take this nice and slow. All, everybody's been on side. Within the field of play, still in the field of play, taking possession of the ball cleanly. We're jogging it on from here. Thank you. I've now made my decision. There you go. Shadley grounds the ball and Leeds are back within two. Ash Hanley's double. Great work from Leeds. Nice kick from Martin. And there's Hanley to touch it down. Yeah, whenever Leeds up the pace of the game, they create opportunities. It's another try for Ash Hanley, a fantastic finish. But it's a beautiful touch from Martin. It was the misplaced kiss, kick from Chris Atkin. 
and the result of that was Miller in some space. And as I said, Salford just manufactured a last play, and it's cost them. It cost them field position. Once Reese Martin gets this on his right foot, it's perfectly weighted. And actually, from Momorowski, it's really patient not to have a snap at that himself. It's a great kick from Martin. Either of them men could have gone for the ball. He left it to Hanley. That's a smart play. Rowan Smith delighted with this start to the second half. They'd be even more delighted if this goes over from Reese Martin right on the touchline. Sends it on the way. And you cannot believe what a great kick that is to level it up. Reese Martin adds the two. Well, two different tries from Hanley. One from 90 metres and a one right on the try line. Different styles of tries, but Ash Hanley's an exceptional finisher, and it's just a lovely kick from a back row of Reese Martin. Played a lot of centre last year, adaptable player. He brings an exceptional kicking game to this team and just consistently pops them two points over, doesn't he? So valuable. You know, Castleman Wigan tomorrow, 525 Sky Sports Action. Catalans Warrington, 525 Sky Sports Arena. Every game live right here on Sky Sports. Verdict as well, 3.30 on Wednesday. As Leeds now... Well, they've not been in front tonight. It's been Salford in front, Leeds levelling up. Well, the timing of penalties has been devastating for Salford. That's the eighth penalty they've conceded. And if you're looking to preserve energy, you just can't be not square at marker when the referees have <laughs> implicitly said they're going to look at that area and penalise teams who don't get square in that area. And this just saps your energy for a side that were already down to 12 men in the first half. This is a tricky period of the game now for Paul Roller's team. It is. Over here, Matt. Attitude and effort is there from Salford, but they need to cut out the ill discipline. Not square. So for the third time tonight, we're all level. This time the touch finder is a good one. Good back kick back. as well. Back. This one early on, but he's learnt his lesson. One. Move! Fair up now. Still got it. Go one. Okay. Leeds looking to go in front. Sangare is wrapped up. Two. Takes some putting down. Move! Square up. Go Because Smith moves down the left hand side pops up the pass martin was looking to offload couldn't get it away can salford hold firm here had to do a lot of defending early second half sangare again takes it into contact numbers to the right Ackers to frawley frawley short pass to aletsky sneed was in there Good defence from the Red Devils, last one. Ackers looks right, but surely he's going to go to the left. He will, he'll get it away to Frawley, who's going to hoist the kick high. Hanley looking for the hatchet, ball batted down, but Leeds couldn't gather it. Salford will gather it, and Salford trying to sprint away with Hankinson, and Leeds get back to make the tackle. Yeah, There's a great cover tackle from Ash Hanley, two tries to his name, and a big tackle there to stop Hankinson going down the field. Very solid defence from Salford. Again, questioning whether Leeds are really asking too many difficult questions of the Salford line, but regardless, Salford have got all the answers right there, and it's such an important set to defend. Short pass taken forward. And over halfway come the Red Devils, who've spent a little bit too much time in their own half for their liking. And Singleton moves it to Cust, who finds Watkins. Watkins runs at Frawley, makes the tackle. Hold it, boys. Go for back inside. Some carries here, the Salford forwards. Go five. The tackle is made, and here goes Sneed. Last one advances forward, puts it up. Miller's got to wait, gets off the ground, does well. That's a really good set, though. Having been camped in their own 20, Salford now got leads inside their own 10. Yeah, solid, powerful carries. And again, it was a great kick 
from Mark Sneed. Just way too much time for Mark Sneed to kick the ball. Lucky Mill looks to be in a little spot of bother, maybe a spot of cramp for him. Brad Singleton, put your hands on him. Now another penalty. Salford at the moment are giving away far too many cheap metres to Leeds. Yeah, again, one thing the referees have decided they want to clamp down on in consultation with the coaches and some senior players is, is that just adding weight to tackles. As soon as he puts hands on him there, that's deemed as a flop. Definitely would have got away with that last year. That wasn't a penalty last year. Again, the players were in that process of making that decision for this year. So a penalty, but you right, nine penalties conceded for Salford. Too many. And the problem for them is they've been in yardage a lot of them haven't they and it's allowed leads out i think timing is so important when it comes to penalties and how much pressure it relieves in the moments which you can see that it's just felt every time salford get into a position here where they can just get back into some sort of rhythm they conceded a penalty in the second half they've just not got going all back up the inside for miller shrugged off that injury he's wrapped up just outside the 40. Hackers again is looking no Jared O'Connor yet, here now the ball moved wide, good hands, good defence, good read from Hankinson, had to make that tackle. And Salford have been consistently aggressive, the challenge with that is getting it right, because Leeds know they're coming. Well, they're they're going down, down that short side again, John, now they're going to dribble the kick through, but there's Briley to collect it, and Smith makes the tackle inside the 10, but now Leeds have conceded a penalty. Same thing, hands in the rock. Just adding a little bit of weight. You're allowed to touch the player in the rook, your player in the rook. If you're trying to help him off, I mean. Anyway, crack on. It's a penalty, I'm not sure, but. Well, it's a relieving penalty this time for Salford. Still approaching the hour mark leads yet to be in front, but will they be in front at the end of the game? be revealed here's mcdonald carries it forward again mike well take him over 100 meters for the night so he's certainly been productive this evening cuss finds singleton on the charge Bentley in there with Ackers. donaldson Bill now comes across to this near side taken forward again Sharks is wrapped up. Can Salford nudge themselves back into the lead here? Watkins, so much success for him on this ground with leads. Going short side is Cus. Cus makes half a break. Can't find the support, but they're inside the 20 again, and they've got it away. And here comes Salford now. Juggle, they just couldn't finish it off. Miller will pick it up and he'll bring it forward and the referee's going to come back because there's a bit of pushing and shoving on the far side. Not quite sure what set that one off, but temperatures boiling up here at Headingley. Probably see Chris Hankin get another green card here. He's down for about the fourth time since he's been on. Very consistently down on the floor as Chris Hankin. I think, to be fair, John, he got cleaned out, didn't he? He went no, to no. catch that ball. He's a smart player, Chris Atkin. I've watched him enough. I watch him a lot, and he's down a lot in games. And he's not hes not daft. He knows that gets reviewed. He knows it gets looked at. And we'll likely scrutinise the contact on him there. And there's a chance there's a penalty in it. But you do get caught out if you try and milk it too long. And what ends up happening, you get a yellow, a green card, and you're off the field for two minutes. Oh, I'll tell you what. Yeah, Momorowski didn't oh, miss. What I'm saying, he's down. He's not injured. Let's have a look it's, at this. It's whether this is a shoulder charge, isn't it? That's why I'm saying it's smart from Chris Atkin, because it just forces us to look at it. And the question is, is that a shoulder charge? Well, you've asked the question, you answer it. There's, there's, there's men in green shirts. Who can do that? Rather than me getting drawn, I think... It, He's definitely trying to make a tackle. It's not an intentional shoulder charge, but he just doesn't get the opportunity to wrap the arm. And he looks concerned.
Yeah. Yeah. So, So, Momorowski has been adjudged in the eyes of the video referee to have tackled off the ball. The thing they're looking at now is, is there any contact with the head? I'm not sure on the angles that we've seen, John, there is any contact, and I think this might just be a penalty. Yeah, this might be the angle that shows us. Momorowski's making an aggressive decision. Look, there's just no intent in it. It's not an intentional shoulder charge. Now, the question is... Yeah. Is that illegal? He doesn't wrap his arm, certainly doesn't wrap his arm. Reese Martin almost pushes Atkin away from contact. Sean Momorowski would have wrapped his arm had contact continued in his direction. That being said, it's, this is a big call. It's a massive call. Well, Ben Thaler has got all the angles available to him. He's currently working his way through said angles. And now, I think after Ben Thaler's had a look... We are going to get a yellow card for Momorowski. Oh. So we've, got, we've got secondary contact with the head. It is forceful and dangerous, but we don't see it at a high force, and it's a shoulder charge, so that warrants a sim bin, mate. It's ten minutes. So Paul Momorowski's Leeds debut. We'll see him spend 10 minutes in the bin. The former Melbourne Penrith and Roosters man who joined Leeds on a two-year deal is in the sim bin. And this is a big, big chance here for Leeds. They took a long time to get there. They're saying there's secondary contact with the head. And that's the reason that Momorowski's in the bin. Yeah. It, it was a big contact, and it was quite shocking. Chris Atkin obviously stayed down, was rattled by it. And, you know, that made us have another look at it. Momorowski has had a nice, tidy debut. But he's got to spend 10 minutes in the bin, and that could be crucial, Mark. In the context of this game now, Mark Sneed gets a, a very kickable opportunity at goal. Let's see how Leeds deal with going down to 12 men, Mark, because Salford dealt with that so diligently, so professionally. Leeds are going to have a really tough 10 minutes now. Yeah, yeah they are indeed. And this kick, again, for the fourth time tonight, to nudge Salford in front. So Sneed then to put the Red Devils back in front, sends it on the way, and his 100% record continues. Four from four for Sneed. Chris Atkins gone for a head injury assessment. We'll update you on that one. But Salford now a man up and two points up. Yeah, big moment. Momorowski, huge contact on Atkin. And Mark Sneed, just so reliable with that boot, it's almost a given that that's two points. We're just fascinated now, in this next ten minutes, how Leeds deal with the adversity of losing Momorowski. How Leeds can defend without this man who's on debut, six of them making the debut today. How do they deal with this period now? Deep kick collected by Cust. Just over a quarter of the game to go here. Leads with work to do, questions to be answered. Salford, I mean, really good defensively. They've had to do a lot of defending. Will that catch them out later on in this game, or will they hang on? Well, they're trying to drive forward now. Will they hang on to that ball there? Lafay. Now the ball to Watkins gets it away. Here's Nene McDonald. Wrapped up just shy of the halfway line. Yeah, he 
Williams. Shorrocks. His head rocks back in the tackle. That's going to be a penalty. Bentley's getting involved. He'd be well advised to move away. It was Donaldson who drew the whistle. I've got to be in mitigation there, Ben. I think this has been the issue for Leeds. The ease at which Salford have just motored out the half. There's not much in it. It's just a really light glance with the head. It is contact with the head. It is a penalty. There'll be no further action. There was no force. It wasn't particularly reckless. James Bond Donaldson just slipping high, just catching Sherlock's on the cheek. I think Leeds would be disappointed, as I was saying, of how easy Salford have got out of the half. You know, several times they've been penned in a bad position and just through a little bit of ball movement, a few strong carries, Lafay, McDonald. Next thing, they're over the halfway line. And if you want to be a champion team, I just can't, don't believe you can concede that amount of yardage so easily. Well, they need to make sure they keep Salford out here as the ball now works its way forward again. Salford are on the charge. I think they're sensing that this is their moment here against the 12 of Leeds. Momorowski in the bin. Salford with Sneed. Gets it away. Short pass. Watkins wrapped up. 11 away. Big moments in round one here for the Rhinos. Sneed just pops it up. Taken forward by Wright. Five away now. Sneed moves to the left of the rook, and he's going to get hands on the ball now. Miss out pass to Lafay. Great pass on this side for Cross. Couldn't get past the would be challenge of Newman. Unbelievable defense from Harry Newman. Need more of it. Last one. Sneed's going to kick towards the post. Is it going to hit the post? No, and it's caught in goal. Just about. Well, is that delay of a 20 meter restart? Are, are Salford going to get someone in the bin here? No, they're not. <laughs> This is just another accurate kick. Just that's the first one that's been fractionally too deep. And then Zero. McDonald does hit that down. That's a professional Zero. foul mark. I think there's some with, there's some merits in your call yeah. there. There's every chance that could be a yellow card. I think he's a lucky boy. Then McDonald <laughs> just gone too early. Salford. Yeah, and, and it, do you know? Paul Rowley will be delighted with the effort and his intent and the willingness to compete for his team. But if they could just be more clinical when it comes to discipline, areas around the rook, and just simply getting onside with the referee, they would have made this game an awful, feel awful lot easier. The score might not have been any different, but the lungs wouldn't be burning as much as they are now. So we start for Leeds, so Sangare comes forward. Remember, in that first half, Salford down a 12 score to try. Can Leeds repeat that feat? Can they get in front for the first time tonight? Can Salford hang on? All options up for grabs. Big Sean Donaldson bounces up, plays the ball. Here now is O'Connor. O'Connor foraging forward. That's a bit of zip from dummy half. Then 10 away, the Rhinos. The South standing full song here. Our lead's about to hit the front. Croft back to Miller. Miller skips across. Overhead pass gets it away. Tackle is made on that far side on Gudemont. They're going to go left again. No, they're not. Frawley swings it back to Croft. Croft now centre field. Nowhere to go. Salford have got him wrapped up. Leeds lacking in ideas at the moment, so they'll go to Miller. Miller skips away from one, gets away from two, ball knocked down. Final interception from McDonald, but it'll cost his side another six tackles in defence. Yeah, Miller was just wandering, exploring, again, Salford aggressive. But that's the sort of static flatness that I'm saying for Leeds hasn't really worked for them tonight. It's just felt a bit too... Right, turn it under, Lucky Miller, you run over there, I'll turn it under. There needs to be at some point, someone cracks the line, someone bends the line, and then play off the back of that. It's, it's all pretty, all quite lateral, but not very effective. Not at the moment. The leads have been down this end a lot of times in this second half. Here's Croft, here's Newman. Newman who signed a new contract, keeping him at Leeds for another two seasons. Good news. For the Rhinos, for sure. O'Connor, what can he conjure? Another set restart. Salford, under intense pressure. The battering ram that Sangaria will take him forward. He's tackled two away. O'Connor, 
Frawley. Goudemont almost through. Tackled a couple out from the line. Burrows back on. Here's Donaldson. Donaldson puts the brakes on, goes for the line. It's all route one at the moment. Ah, Salford gonna crumble. Well, someone's going in the bin here. And it's gonna be 12 against 12. Burrows just come back on, he's going off again. It will be 12 against 12. Momentarily, but crucially, in the closing stages of this game, Leeds have got a chance to level up. Yeah, that's... Borough just trying to wrestle some control, slow the rooks down. Paul Rowley and Kurt Agatee will be questioning that one. Borough's in the tackle, without doubt. He's getting a bit of a facial from James Donaldson, but deemed by the referee to be deliberately slowing the play down. Well, all teams do that, everybody in the competition does that, it's not a surprise. But he's got a yellow card. Well, he's not happy he's gone in the bin. But as we've seen tonight, Mark Sneed has kicked four from four. Now, Reese Martin has got a chance to make it four from four, and he's ten metres out right in front. And he will waste no time at all here in knocking this over. It is back level again for the fourth time tonight. These two cannot be split. Ronnie's getting excited. Is it a grandstand finish for the Rhinos? Big moment now for Salford. We must react here. Burrows off the field. 12 men apiece. We've got 14 minutes left. This has been nail biting from start to finish. In an enthralling contest. Good run from Sangare. Every outcome possible going into the final 14 minutes. Slow play of the ball, but they rush up with a line speed. Offload, though, finds Smith. Smith finds another couple of metres, finds his front. He wants a quick play of the ball. Momorowski is stripped and ready to go. Final 20 seconds or so of his sin bin, and it will be 13 against 12 for the Rhinos. Here's Frawley. Too many players stood still at the moment. Yeah, very static. The Leeds will be fancying this, they're going to get Momorowski back on, they're now flooding forward, Salford look like they're visibly tiring, Salford will be praying they don't fall in the hole here. Well, here they go, last tackle, ball back on the inside, hand it off, get the ball away, and it's intercepted, oh. intercepted by Salford and it's Nene McDonald, the former Rhino who comes up with it. What a game Nene McDonald's had. Every reason to be intimidated by this atmosphere. But in the effort areas of the game, he's done fantastically well. How dangerous did Leeds look there? Sam Lassoni flooding forward, Newman flooding forward. Huge defensive play from Nene McDonald to get back on that. That's the character that Salford have shown, and that's why they're in this game. Yeah, look at this from Salford. This is adventurous, but they've penned themselves in a corner with Dion Cross. Bentley makes the tackle. Last one inside the 20. Sneed's going to knock it downfield. Roberts calls for it, gets it. So advantage leads here. They're going to start on halfway. Chris Atkin has passed his head injury assessment, so he will be available shortly. We just seen there with Mark Sneed's kick how effective it was in the first half. There's a strong breeze here in the favour of Leeds. Here comes Bentley now, turns it back underneath for Newman. Was he caught high? He was, but he's going to play on Newman. Puts the burners down inside the 30. He goes. You get the feeling that Salford is starting to cling on for dear life here. They've given everything at Headingley, but are they about to run out of petrol right at the end? With a finishing line in sight, all level. Smith offloads, Croft gets it to Frawley, moves it now to Reese Martin. Leeds looking to expose any weaknesses in this Salford defence, but credit to Salford, there aren't too many at the moment. O'Connor plays it. Infield to Frawley, gets it away. Good strong carry up the middle. 
moving forward. Goudemont that is wrapped up. Here's Cam Smith. Short pass to Lissoni. Lissoni is over. Sam Lissoni barges his way through. And the Rhinos lead with just over 10 minutes to go. Initially thought he wouldn't be playing tonight. He could be the match winner. Another try for Sam Lissoni. His first of the season. Leeds lead by 20 points to 16. He's had a big impact on the game as Sam Lissoni. Everything he's done has had power, he's had punch, he's been effective and the game's sped up around him. This is all about Cam Smith though, playing over the ad line with support, putting Sam Lissoni on Sam Stone's inside shoulder at full tilt. It's all about Cam Smith getting over the ad line and making that a one-on-one. -on -one. And once that's a one-on-one -on -one and Sam Lissoni's at full speed, the result is try and look how they celebrate. They know how important that is. And the Salford car is limping towards the petrol station on fumes, isn't it? What a hat trick against Hull FC last year. Might only be the one tonight, but it's an important one as Reese Martin again slots it over. And all of a sudden, Leeds, who have been behind multiple times tonight, find themselves in front. And in front on the back of this from Sam Lissoni. Yeah, you can't underestimate the threat of Brody Croft out the back. It's all the time Cam Smith's eyeing up Sam Lissoni. He's got Brody, Brody Croft's hair and round the back there. And that just holds defenders out. That makes it a one on one. And when it's Sam Stone versus Lissoni, at that speed and that intensity after Sam Stone's done a hell, hell of a lot of defending, there's only one winner. Sneed, is he going to go short here? No, he's going to knock it long. Bounces awkwardly. Leeds will collect it. There's Momorowski. He comes forward and he's tackled 20 off his own line. So Leeds, having been chasing the game for large parts, have now got nine minutes, but I think they'll fancy another score to wrap this up. They do, and they've just looked comfortable when they've carried the ball like this over the ad line, generated some rook speed. And they've just chewed meters up easily. I think this is where Leeds have been at the best. Just playing flat and fast. I think when they've sped things up, they yeah. look a little bit more natural. But they've, they? looked, they've looked clunky in the halves, and the spine has, has not clicked, has it? You wouldn't expect it to, but this has been effective for them. The power game's really worked, and that's really put Salford in a dark place. Eight to go, last one. Frawley is going to get it out wide to Martin. They're going to run it here. They are going to run it down the sideline. Offload needed. Was that kicked on or was it dropped? Decision to be made here. Yeah. Was that a knock-on from Leeds? I think the referee is going to say it was knocked on and that will be the turnover. Yeah, Omorowski's claiming it, it wasn't dropped by him. He put it on his foot to kick it. There's an argument that that's, that is what happened, but referee's called it. It did hit his leg on the way to ground, didn't it? Tight. Easy on a replay, of course. <laughs> Salford are in trouble here. It's been a great effort. Whatever happens, those that have made their way over the Pennines tonight will go home feeling proud of the effort, but it might be in a losing effort unless they can produce something magical. But they're three tackles into a set, they're 20 off their own line. Here's McDonald again. He has been a colossus tonight. Some game. Nearly 150 metres for him. Here is Sneed, fires it wide to Cross. Cross runs at Roberts. Newman makes the tackle. Last one. Salford. With Sneed, did well to get out of that. Now he'll kick across the field. How's the bounce? So oh, it favours Leeds. It favours Leeds. That is a great tackle from Hankinson. He needed to make it as well because he committed to the chase. And if Ash Handler gets that, we've seen what devastating speed he's got in that first half. He was in the clear for sure. Miller wraps up. Seen glimpses of him tonight in his pace. Not yet managed to get him free. The South Stand in full song. Lafayette's battered into Bentley, who's dropped it. Bentley spills the ball, and Salford are not go. done yet. Here we go. Where do you want it, Matt? They just needed a chance. And it's come through a fantastic hit from Tim Lafayette on James Bentley. In this greasy conditions, then loses the ball. Bentley protests that he's stolen, and it's not. 
It's a fantastic hit from Tim Lafay. Both Lafay and McDonald have been great here for Salford tonight. Well, Known for his attacking play, offloads, but a really competent defender as well. Now, this is four times, John, they've been level tonight. And we're going to be level again and going to Golden Point. Well, this is the chance. This is their chance, Mark. Time ticking away. Riley to McDonald. They wanted a forward pass then. I think they might be. Oh, no, it's a penalty. It's a penalty to Leeds. Oh, sorry, against Leeds. It's seen as a late hit on Ryan Briley after he's passed the ball. The, the South stand beneath us were screaming for a forward pass, weren't they, Mark? But it's a late hit by Rhys Martin. Very tough. Look, I've been in that position myself. It's very tough to see when he's released the ball, but it's fractionally late. No malice in it. Amir Burra's back on. What a five minutes we've got set up here. 13 against 13. It's not often been the case tonight. It hasn't. <laughs> not a few yellow cards. Ball now works its way to Sneed. Salford still going. Sneed wanted to offload it. Newman had shot the line and he held on wisely. Burra back from the bin. 15 out. Short pass on the crash ball is Watkins. Beautiful line. They're there. Can they level things up here? They, a little sidestep. Partington with the offload. Burrow, can he slip the ball away? No, he goes to ground four out. Ball played now. They're coming back to Sneed. Sneed gets it away here to Stone. Stone puts his shoulder in. He's wrapped up five out. Last one here for the Red Devils. Time ticking away. Sneed's kick is across the field. The chase has come. They catch it. Can they get it over the line? Well, there's a hint of an appeal. But the referee here wants to have a look at this. How did that ball get to ground? He says no try. Let's go to the video referee. So the live call we have on the field is no try. As it's on a kick, we've got to go back to the first angle, which is on the kick, and just pause it on the foot. So we pause it nice on the foot. Everybody's on side there. So now we're going through to see what happens. This player's going for the ball. Nobody's impeded. We jump up, clearly jump up. It's in the hands of the Salford player. And if we go back onto this angle, this is our best angle. Go back on this. It's a clear contest for the ball. He's in the air. The Salford man has the ball. He then loses it there. So then the Salford player loses it onto the Leeds man. Thank you. I've now made my decision. Well, that was a great catch, but they couldn't maintain possession as they went to the ground. Leeds survive. But Salford inches away from a chance to level up the game. The crowd won, but we're no try to confirm. Yeah, I think they said it's a clear contest for the ball. Sean McFall has contested the ball. Uh, question marks whether that could have been a penalty. Salford, it's, it's not. Leeds defending and just coming up with something, some desperation when they just when they needed it. Is there one big twist at the end of the opening night here at Headingley? Leeds leading by six points. Full time at St Helens, they've got off to a win. 40 points to four, Huddersfield in front at Lee. Leeds leading here. Every game live on Sky throughout the season. The only place you'll see all the games live is here on Sky Sports. Two more tomorrow, Castleford Wigan and Catalans Warrington. 5.25 for the pair. Here go Leeds with Miller. Miller skipping away, gets it wide. There could be a chance here for Leeds. Ball back on the inside. Leeds over halfway. And they've lost it. They've lost it. With three minutes remaining. Salford got a gamble now, John Shirley. Yeah, look, they've got two and a half minutes here. This is Paul Rowley loves these moments in games where he can throw the ball around, create some havoc 
His team are renowned for offloading and playing and taking chances. His halftime chat, he spoke about chances. Not many coaches say about missed opportunities and chances. They always talk about the negative side of the game. Oh, I love Paul Rowley. Well, go take a chance now, Salford. This might be it for them. They haven't come here and made it easy for Leeds. Far from it. And have they got one moment of brilliance left in them? They're inside the Leeds 40. Tackle is made. Cust gets it away. Here's Sneed. Dummies to kick, finds Briley. Briley into the line, drops it off for Lafay. Lafay, can he find an offload? No, he can't. 20 away. Stone in at dummy half. Sneed, Salford ending, looking for points. Can they move it through the hands of created a chance? Oh, almost the intercept. What a tackle comes in. It was a risky pass. Leeds celebrate. Hanley scored two tries tonight, but that tackle just as important for Leeds. Yeah, Shorrocks came up with a, just a disgustingly flighted ball on the end of this play from Salford. I mean, it had about as much forward momentum as a carrier bag in the wind. Ash Handley did well to defend it. He's had a tidy game as Ash Handley. James Bentley and Leeds celebrate defence, defending the line. It's not been pretty from Leeds. There's a lot of pressure on Leeds to be good here, to be great. If they come away with the win here, Rowan Smith will be delighted, obviously. And there's so much to improve on, isn't there, from this Leeds team? You could see it. I would imagine it's always nice reviewing a game after you've won it than after you've lost it. It is, but Paul Rowley will not be disappointed. Look, if it's not 11 penalties conceded, Salford probably win this game. Yeah. And that's an easy fix. Yeah, it is. It is. They entertain Castleford next week. David Northaluma might well be available. Final few seconds. Strong challenge goes in. Leeds behind for much of the game, but Sam Lasoni's try laid on. Wraps up victory for the Leeds Rhinos in round one. Salford were brave, but Salford just ran out of petrol right at the vital moments at the end of the game. Ash Hadley with two tries. One of those a 90 metre special. Paul Rowley can afford a smile in defeat, but inside, he'd be disappointed his team couldn't quite get the job done. Leeds know they can and will be better further down the line. Ronnie Croft maybe didn't have the impact he would have wanted against his former club, but he'll be happy to get that one out of the way. Cap Smith's pass. And Lissoni's try wins it. It ends here in round one. Victory for Lee Rhinos. They've been Salford by 22 points to 16.